Hello and welcome back to Hold and Modify, YouTube's most poorly produced, underproduced Amiga program. And once again, here I am showing you Amiga running on a Mac. I'm using FSUAE. Now, yes, FSUAE is nowhere near as up to date as WinUAE on the Windows side. But to whoever is making this program, let's go over here to the old, uh, let's see, can we go to about? Frode, Solheim? Okay. Anyway, my point is that if you're on a Mac and you want to emulate the Amiga, FSUE is still, you know, it is a, it's, it's still the best way to go. Now, listen, if you if you guys are watching my channel, you do realize down here, crossover, see down here, crossover, down here in the bottom. Yes, crossover allows you to run Windows on even an ARM-based Mac, and you can run WinUAE. And I've made videos showing how that's great. It does allow you to have a little more compatibility with certain games that require precise timing that maybe FSUE hasn't quite hammered out. But casual Amiga people that just want to like fire up most games, maybe fire up the Lux Paint, Final Writer, um, you know, I don't know. You want to look at some old software you, you had on the Amiga. FSUE on the Mac does a great job. Here we go. Going to double click. It's going to fire up. Gonna go over here, gonna press Command F to go to full screen, press Command A, A to auto scale. Now the auto scale is not perfect. You're gonna notice it can be a little chunky, but it's not perfect. But here we go. And let's go ahead and immediately just fire up some Eagle Player. Now, I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear this or not. Um, I apologize, but look, Eagle Player is jamming out the tunes. They sound great. And of course, because me being me, Let's go ahead and go to uh, sysinfo and fire it up. And I know this is an emulation, so it's not going to be the same thing, but it gives you a relative idea of what's going on. Yes, 60 to 40. We're doing 290 MIPS, 89 M flops, and probably a bunch of dry stones. I don't know how many. Yeah, 278,000 dry stones. And then, of course, the chip speed versus A600, 7,500, which is absolutely ridiculous. And all the all all the cache options are on. That's awesome. And uh, MMU not in use though. So even though all of this stuff is turned on, right? All this stuff is turned on. MMU not in use. Why is the MMU not in use? I don't know. Look at the comment. Questionable JIT. No, JIT is not enabled. If I turn JIT on on an ARM-based Mac, things go crazy. They go crazy. So that's kind of strange. I'm going to press left command Q to quit. We're going to go back to the configuration. And now we're going to go over here to the thing that looks like a chip. And we're going to start looking at stuff. So what do we got here? Here's the card. Oh, don't see it. Okay, CPU. Yeah, see, 16040, non-MMU. Oh, oh, Q. You were using JIT. Okay, so for those of you wondering if FSUEE ARM-based version on a Mac supported JIT, well, you just saw. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. So now let's go ahead and turn JIT off. And we're going to go to 16040 regular, so we get our MMU. I'm going to go run this now. I'm going to run sysinfo again. But back the video up, and you can, you can look at what how different the sysinfo values were. I'm not going to, you know, do that here, but, you know, you guys can figure it out. You're smart. I trust you. Here we go. Firing up a 16040. Not using JIT, so it's going to be a little slower, of course. And let's go ahead and fire up Eagle Player to make sure it still works. Yep, still working. And let's go to work. Go to Sysinfo. And, yep, there it is. MMU in use. And, by the way, when the MMU is in use... You notice copyback is turned off now, and I can't turn it on. Isn't that, isn't that weird? I don't know why that is. That's really strange. JIT is off. I can't turn copyback on. All right, let's smash speed. Like I said, rewind the video, take a screenshot, see what the differences are, and uh, here you go. So yeah, uh, we're doing a lot slower. We're, we are slower. I, I don't even need to back the video up. We're going slower. Even look at the chip speed versus A600. That's <laughs> we're at like 7,000 with JIT. We're at 370 now. So hey, look.
For those of you that were wondering if JIT worked on ARM Mac with FSUE, yes, it does work. I know he's still saying questionable JIT. So JIT does actually work on the uh, ARM FSUE version. So yeah, don't worry about that. If you want maximum, maximum speed, you'll get it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and fire up good old Lightwave because that's what I do. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is ridiculously fast. Look at that, yeah, that's, that's great. We'll go uh, file load over here and let's load up the Amiga Art Contest 2023. Now, again, this is going to be slower than JIT version, but you know, I just want to show you. Here we go. There it is. That, that actually drew pretty quick, actually. And we'll go ahead and render. I'm sorry, I don't know if you can hear the music in the background or not. I, there's an Amiga mod playing in the background this whole time. So here's the thing. JIT works on FSUEE on our Mac. That's awesome. And it works really, really fast, as you saw. It's this info screen. So here we are without JIT. Now, this cloud.iff image, it's a big, hearty, chunky image. And it is taking its time to filter. Wow. Okay, so that took a long time. I rendered this before using JIT mode with FSUEE on my ARM Mac. And it was way faster. Way faster. This is... As impressive as this is, this is a uh, this is more uh, like super. I would say this this is more in line with like maybe a 100 megahertz 68060. I know there was you know you, you if you bought a 68060 it was usually 50 megahertz, but depending on the revision you got, you could overclock it to as high as 100 megahertz, maybe even 120 megahertz. This kind of feels like a 100 megahertz 68060 right now. Compared to the JIT mode though, on this ARM Mac, uh, it was, the JIT mode was like, I don't know, like a modern PC fast. It was crazy fast. So this is slow, but this is also a little bit more realistic to the Amiga back in the day, if you could afford a 6060 and also be able to overclock it. So there's my Amiga eye for the Amiga Art Contest 2023. Hi, eye, say hello. That's cool. Yeah, that took one minute and 53 seconds. Which, you know, that's not terrible. I mean, that's, 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 that's decent, but yeah, compared to the JIT mode, no, not at all. So yeah, so what I'm gonna say is that yes, if you wanna have uh, Amiga on your Mac and you have an ARM-based Mac, definitely download the latest version of FSUEE, get your Amiga set up, sacrifice your MMU so you can run JIT, and then you can, you're gonna get the fastest Amiga you could ever get. Now, again, if you're playing video games on your Amiga, you don't want the fastest Amiga you can ever get. You want maybe a slightly faster than the stock 68000. You might, you might want like a 28 megahertz 68000. So if you're playing any, you know, like 3D intensive games like Armageddon or, you know, simulator games like uh, Gunship or, you know, F-15 Falcon or F-16 Fighting Falcon and you know, M1 Tank Platoon, right, you might want a little bit of acceleration, but if you're not going to be doing 3D rendering or extensive crazy audio processing, you don't need to run JIT. You don't need to do that. I, I run JIT because I use this 3D software down here. That's why I try to make my Amiga as fast as it can be because I run my 3D software, my 2D processing software, but that's just me. I know I'm weird. I love the charm of the Amiga. I love what it offers and that's why I do it. So there you go. Quick video, yes, FSUEE, ARM-based version of FSUEE on an ARM-based Mac. JIT mode does work, and it is much faster. So use it, embrace it, love it. Thanks for watching. I'm, uh, I'm done with this video. And gosh, I really hope you could hear some of the music in the background, maybe.